hi there everyone so today i'm gonna be making a slightly different video i thought i'd share with you some things that we love about our planners or if you want to start planning this is the video to start so the first thing you're gonna need obviously is a planner i use gigi case i love them i have all gigi case sizes a medium a small and a large one and i'm really in love with them on Kiki K, you have a planner with a snap button, or you have the planner with an elastic band. All the planners have pockets inside. You do have a lot of other options, but Kiki K is my first option. So another thing you might want to get when you are into planning, you like to personalize everything you have, is a glue gun. I love using them for planner clips. The glue gun I'm showing you here is really cool because it runs on batteries. You don't have to plug it in. The next thing is one of my favorite things is the fuse tool. I use the fuse tool a lot. I use the fuse tool because we here in Portugal, we don't have a lot of things planner related. So I, I need some things like protector sheets and things like that. I've been using the fuse tool a lot on my planner videos. I also use the fuse tool to make the shaker dashboards that are the cutest thing. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to check out my DIY videos. The fuse tool comes with a ruler and two heads, one to fuse with and one to cut plastic with. If you're gonna get the fuse tool, you should get a proper cutting mat. Regular cutting mats don't work with the fuse tool because the fuse tool melts them. This glass cutting mat is pretty cool because you can cut on it and you can fuse on it and you can stamp. So the next thing is quite an expensive thing but it's pretty cool and it's the scan and cut. I use the scan and cut to make cutouts, planner clips, I use it to make dashboards, I, I use it to make a lot of things. You can do so much with it, not only planner related. You do have some other options. You have silhouette, but at the time when I was looking into them, I chose the scan and cut and I'm pretty happy with it. So now there's an amazing thing and it's kind of a trend at the moment and it's foiling things. If I remember correctly, it was the the video when I set up my planner for the Christmas and I foiled my planner dividers. I really love how they looked. I do suggest that you get some foil. You can use the foil with the laminator machine but the best way to use it is with the mink machine because the mink machine has settings that allows you to decide how much heat do you need. The foiling always comes out perfect. If you don't have a laminator, get a mink machine. You have the mink machine in two sizes. You have the small size and the bigger size. I am trying to get a bigger size right now, but it's quite an expensive machine, so I'm just waiting on it. For planner related things, you really do have to get a laminator. But if you don't have a laminator yet, you might be considering getting the mink machine because the mink machine does both. You can foil with the mink machine and it comes out perfect and you can laminate with the mink machine. The laminator is not as good as a foiling machine but the mink machine is perfect for both. Another thing I'm always using on my planner is the crocodile. So the crocodile is like this tool where you have two sides to make holes, one on the smaller size and one on the bigger size. Even though the crocodile was meant to put eyelets on things like paper or fabric, you can also use the crocodile to make the holes for your rings. And I also love the corner jumper. I do like to get my pages and my planner dividers rounded up. I think they look better that way. When you get a corner jumper, you have two sizes on the same tool so you'll get two for one. I highly suggest you getting a corner jumper. So if you're into planning, 
or if you want to be into planning, you have to know that you can get a lot of inserts, not only the ones that come with the planner. So if you choose to have your own inserts, you can print them at home or you can or you can buy them already printed. I choose to print them at home, so a paper trimmer is always handy. And this one to me is the perfect one because you have the trimmer tool and you have the scoring tool and it's pretty amazing. It's not really that big but it's the perfect size to cut all the inserts and everything being perfect and the right size. And you do have the ability to change the blade if it's ran out. One of my obsessions ever since I was a little girl is pens. I love pens, I love cute pens, that's my thing. I got these, they are not expensive. Every single pen has a different color and they are so cute that you should really buy some. Here comes the thing that almost every planner addict has and that's washi tape. Washi tape is one of the easiest ways to decorate your planner. They are pretty and expensive and they are really easy to decorate your planner with. So if you want to start with the planning and you want to consider decorating your planner, washi tape is one of my first choices for you to get. You have a lot of different options of washi tape, from washi tape cards to washi tape rolls. Post-it notes are perfect to pin the most important things that you need to remember on your planner and decorate them as well. This is optional and it's kind of my new recent addiction and it's planner stampings. I'm really loving to stamp on my planner, how easy it is and how decorative it is and how you can customize your planner to your needs without having to get new inserts every week. And it's pretty easy to stamp, all you have to do is get some stamps, an acrylic block and of course some color to stamp with. They always look so cute. Please don't forget, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Everything will be listed down below, so all of the information is in the description box. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye!